Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. Mm, how I, wait, I forgot where it was. All right, so for today's video, I am actually doing kind of an update to my very first video. I'll link in the corner. Feel free to watch it, but I feel like it's very not me anymore. But yeah, so I wanted to do an updated one-year review of the uh, Gucci Balenciaga Hourglass Medium Coated Canvas. I did it before. I'm not doing it again. So basically, in my last video related to this bag, I did a bag review of it, but I'd only used it a few times, really, and I hadn't really used it in, like, different kinds of situations or anything like that. So now I wanted to come back after one year of using it quite heavily and let you guys know what I think about it. So if you are new to my channel, I like to do my bag reviews with five different categories, and those categories are design, durability, comfort, investment value, and impact, like visual impact. Since this is kind of like a one-year update video, I wanted to go through the same process, but I wanted to compare it to like where I was at with the bag before. I already know that there's going to be some changes to the way I score, I'm assuming, but yeah, I guess we should just dive in, right? So for all of these categories, I'm probably going to try and like not reiterate the exact reasons why I gave the bags whatever score they got before, but I did want to say like when it comes to the design of this bag, it's still is a really beautiful bag to me. I still love that it has that Balenciaga shape and then having the Gucci GG Supreme coated canvas. I think it still is as novel as it was a year ago as it is now. It also was like the fact that like the Hacker Project, which if I remember correctly, it was very like unexpected at the time. Like, yes, there had been luxury collaborations with like artists or whatever, but seeing this collaboration between two of the biggest fashion houses at the time, I think was such an interesting thing. I don't know, I, I guess that's kind of what made me fall in love with this, this bag in the first place. And like, having this big flap, I think I mentioned in the first video about how like, opening the flap can be a little awkward when it comes to like, the top handle. And it is still, but I don't know, I guess I've gotten used to it and I don't really even think about it anymore. And that being said, like, the, the strap is still just kind of like this thin thing. So thin. Feels like kind of like an afterthought, but like that doesn't really bother me since like the whole focus of the bag for me is the structure and the silhouette of it. When we're talking about like what score I gave it last time, I gave it a 9. And actually, I'm going to bump it up to like a 9.5. So the reason why I want to bump it up just a little bit is because of a specific experience I had with this. And I would say that this experience would be like true for any of the larger hourglass bags from Balenciaga. I can't like 100% speak on that, but since it is like the same shape structure or whatever, I think it holds true. But I was actually in Milan for work. I brought this bag because I was like, oh, I'm going to Milan, Italy. And I was like, sure, why not show off like Gucci and like the Italian fashion capital or whatever. So I was with a small group and we were on like an inspiration trip and trying to see like what's new, what's up and coming, and I ended up basically making this my main bag that I carried around a lot. And really it all comes down to one specific experience I had. We, we were taking the metro a lot, we, we took some taxis, whatever, like it, it just depended on what the situation was. But we had walked to a restaurant that was kind of far, but we wanted to, you know, like get inspired by the city, etc. And on the way back we were like, you know what, let's take the train back. And, you know, we'd taken the train before, it didn't seem like a big deal. I was wearing this bag and we had gotten basically on the train car and there was like a group of like teenage boys that were like following super close to me. And all of a sudden I hear like a, uh, like that kind of unsnapping. And you can see when it unsnaps, it kind of opens like this, right? I saw one of the boys trying to like reach into my bag. So I immediately like shoulder checked him to get him away and actually like knocked him down. And all of his friends were like, whoa, whoa. And then they all just like ran and went. I was with my manager at the time. And I was like, I think I almost got pickpocketed. She was like, what? Like she's Italian. So like she wasn't surprised, but she was like, oh my gosh, it happened. <laughs> Cause I guess like if you're Italian, you kind of like, they probably don't prey on you. I probably looked touristy. But I like checked my bag and I was like, I had my passport, my wallet, everything of value to me. Actually, I had everything. And I was like, okay, so this bag and this type of bag and the structure of it, because the flap is so big, 
makes it pretty good as long as you're like somewhat aware of it of like pickpockets or things like that because like you know how i mentioned like when you open it like unless you like specifically move it it's hard to like get it open without the top handle like hitting you or you know you, you feel these kinds of things and that was like a huge win for me because like i didn't lose anything and someone attempted to pickpocket from me which is like really fun for me it's like oh cool like i was a target i was a mark <laughs> for me it all comes down to the fact that the design of this bag makes it hard to pickpocket from so that that is really cool so the next category is durability starting with the material if you look at the fact that it's coated canvas coated canvas does have, I don't know if you could call it a great quality, but the fact that it's it's a canvas that's like basically coated in plastic, which means that it's pretty water resistant. I remember when I first gave my review of this bag, I mentioned like not being so sure about like the durability of the handle because of the opening kind of motion you do and how it like bends that back, but it's oftentimes like on your body. So then when you like open it, it kind of like bends the handle a little bit and me like the type of person that i am where i'm like not super gentle with my bags i was also kind of worried about like the hardware and i know like some of the hardware has a little bit of spotting on it or scratches because like that's just who i am as a person again i just have to reiterate but looking at the coated canvas and i think this is actually something that you could say is relevant for any of the gucci bags with the gg supreme coated canvas i really don't notice very much wear and i'm the kind of person who like wants to wear the bag and enjoy wearing it and not worry about it sure there's a couple of nicks from like even some of the hardware did some of it but like where i put the bag down on tables or i think i even put it on the floor sometimes <laughs> but i really don't see much i there's a little bit on like the flap probably just from me like running into a wall or something because like okay you're finding out now i run into walls sometimes but like i'm very impressed with the coated canvas quality and that's kind of why so for the last score i gave it a nine but then i i think for durability i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to bring this baby down to like an eight and it honestly might be might be a hundred percent is my fault but i do think that like you should be able to do this kind of thing with a bag this size. Anytime I traveled, Milan, I don't remember where else I took this when I traveled. I like to be prepared, even just day to day, I like to be prepared. So I like to like put everything I kind of need in there. I think it actually started after I went to Milan. I noticed that like the sides are starting to get like a bit deformed. I don't know if you can see it on camera, if it's super clear, but I think it was from me putting I just too much stuff in here that the size of the bag started to get deformed and it made me a little sad and a little surprised that like I understand that it's just like coated canvas right there there's not much structure behind that but you put something in there and it kind of like stretches it out and it doesn't go back into shape for me I know that if I did this with like a leather bag unless it was like a maybe like a box leather or something like that it would go back into that proper shape and the thing about this bag is like when you look at the shape of it it looks like a rectangle but then there's these like curves that happen on the inside of the bag like towards the middle of the compartment and it really kind of like messes you up because like you think the bag's bigger but then it really only is as wide as how narrow the curve gets so then i still love this bag and i, I have to say i'm probably a little bit more gentle with how much i stuff in here now but I don't know, I'm just a little disappointed that like now the, the sides of the bag are a little like deformed. <laughs> it's gonna sound really dumb. I tried like using like the heat of my hand and like rubbing where the deformations happen and it did help actually quite a bit. So I guess it's not that dumb. Just because I didn't want to apply any like actual heat or anything. If you have a coated canvas bag, just don't overstuff it. All right, let's break out of this little rut that we, I put myself into. The next category is comfort and I know when I first talked about this bag I was like how comfortable is this tiny strap and this tiny like thin like I think I was even like so thin so thin like because it is literally so thin and this is so thin as well I don't know what is this like a strap for babies I don't know I think I gave a score of six and a half like 6.5 was I mistaken oh my god 
for comfort, I will bump it up to like an eight. No, 8.5, let's do that. So when I said I traveled with this bag and like I would be carrying this bag for like eight, 10 hours a day and I would barely be putting it down, I didn't even notice when I was wearing it. I was so surprised with how comfortable this bag was. I always mention in my bag reviews, like, versatility is so important. And, like, this little dinky strap, it gives you the versatility that, like, you need so you can stay comfortable. A lot of why I think it's comfortable has to do with the versatility, of course, and it is just built in with having a strap, which is quite simple in a way. But like, this bag also just looks really good when you're wearing it from the top handle, as well as wearing it from the strap makes it so easy for it to be versatile. I mean, I talked about how like it got deformed from how much stuff I was putting in, and I was even putting other people's stuff in my bag. I think I even put an umbrella in there. The fact that like it could hold that much weight and I didn't get annoyed with it, I don't remember having any sort of pain. Like, that's why this has to... No, you know what? I'm making nine. All right, so the next category is investment value. I know when I first talked about this bag, I talked about it since it's part of the Hacker Project. I would say, in a way, it's kind of like a groundbreaking kind of change in perspective of what, like, a luxury collaboration can mean. And, I mean, since then, we've seen, like, house after house do collaboration after collaboration. So I feel like... At this point, the market is a bit saturated. I don't know if it's saturated to the point that the design collaborations are doing things quite as exciting as like this anymore, in a way. Mm. That being said, this bag was super hot. It sold out so fast. They had a random drop and that's how I got lucky enough to get it. Even like when it was still fresh, looking on Best Air, this bag sold for a crazy amount. I mean, I think it is justified, the score I gave. And I gave it a 9. And I think, honestly, I'm probably going to keep it at an, a 9. Because even checking, like, Vestair now, I'm still seeing, like, bags, like, this bag going for, like, 5000 and that one's not selling. But then if you go to, like, so, like, websites like StockX, they show you, like, the average price of, like, how much they're being sold for-ish. And I saw this for 4600 when, like, the original retail price was, like, 32 And I'm like, that is still fully, like, a 20-ish percent increase, like, 120% of the price. I know, like, since I've used this very heavily, I could only probably get, like, probably, like, under retail price at this point because there's, like, definitely, like, wear shown. Unless I go to, like, a cobbler and they can, like, fix it. Because otherwise the condition of this bag is, like really good. It's not like this bag is not desirable anymore just because it's been like a couple seasons. So I don't know, I'm, it's still pretty up there for me when it comes to investment value. All right, and then now the last category, attention grabbing. I mean, visual impact. I mean, impact. So I like tried to make it a joke, but then I forgot the name of the actual category and I forgot that I just call it impact, even though every time I mention this category, I say impact, like visual impact. But, you know, <laughs> because this was such a hot collection, I mean, moreover the small, but then also this one. I don't know, in my wearing it, I had even like sales people saying that this bag was harder to get than the small because they made fewer of these, which I don't know if I believe that or if they were just trying to butter me up so I'd spend more money with them, which worked. <laughs> But I mean, that's kind of like why I gave it the score I did. I gave it a 10. And honestly, I'm gonna keep it at a 10 because it's been a year. I still have people complimenting me on this bag. If I ever go to the store, like a Gucci store, or Balenciaga store wearing this bag, which like, I try not to be like that kind of person, but I just like wearing this bag. They still say, ooh, that one was a hard one to get. Like when I said like, I talked to someone at Gucci with this bag, it was actually like over the summer, and they mentioned how they said that this was even harder to get from the small because they made fewer of them. And that was over the summer. That was like already like six or seven months after it already come out. I think even the Adidas Gucci collab had already come out and they were like moved on from them. But still like, this is something where like people talk about it. It's definitely like got a huge amount of attention grabbing. I mean, visual impact. I mean, impact. All right, so let's talk about the final score. When I first reviewed this bag, I gave it a 43.5, which was like a high B, which I thought was, you know, pretty good for this kind of bag. But adding up this new score, 
I'm not doing any of that. It's 45.5, which is like a 91, which is like a low A, which I think, honestly, this is still well-deserved. <laughs> honestly, like, I know I say I don't really have a favorite of my bags because, like, I have that Loewe Soot Sprite puzzle bag and I love it and it's so close to my heart and it's so many of my different interests put into one thing. Like, I love this bag and I'm honestly obsessed with this bag still, even after. And I, like try to keep it like nice and clean and I'm like even more gentle with it now which I think says something because the kind of person I am is not a gentle person when it comes to like this kind of thing so but yeah it's definitely one of my favorite bags but I would love to hear what you guys think do you think this bag deserves that score do you think this bag is really stupid i mean i think this bag is stupid but i mean it in a good way but that is all i have for you today if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe it lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind designer luxury until next time so thin this handle again is so thin this shoulder strap is so thin the shoulder strap is so thin so thin